Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Finley Stadium here in Chattanooga, the scenic city of the South. For tonight's game, Chattanooga FC against Flower City Union, all the way from... Sorry, is that Syracuse? Syracuse, isn't it? New, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey. Sorry. <laughs> <That's> okay. <good>. <laughs> <laughs> it's Simon Neal here tonight bringing you the game live with Todd Agnew. He's joined me tonight. Hey, Todd. Hey, well, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Simon. Great to have you along, sir. Yeah, it's... Cool. Uh, it's going to be a fun night, I it believe. It is going to be a fun night, Todd. It's always a great game at Finley Stadium. So tonight's game, yeah, team's coming out, as we say, and uh, you're chatting, you're going to see in the Royal Blue and uh, Flowers at the Union in a kind of a pinky faded popsicle colour. Not sure what you want to call that one, but uh, we'll come to that later. Any ideas, Todd? Oh, well, the last time I saw that colour was 25 years ago when I bought my first house and we painted over the wallpaper. Okay. So, but I, yeah, but I didn't bother to find out what it was at the time, and, <laughs> but I'll put more effort into it tonight. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's see if we have uh, information on the teams for you in a moment. Here we go with the lineups for the starting 11 tonight. Chattanooga FC in goal. Kevin Gonzalez in the back. Alex Stratton, number three. Nick Spielman, number six. Colin Stripling, number eight. Travis Ward, number 11. Midfield. Alex McGrath from England, number 2033. Richard Dixon, the captain, number four. Tate Robertson, number two. In midfield and up front. Uh, we have 22 Gray, seven Cerro, and Brett Jones, number 20. And the head coach, Lord Underwood. Yeah, and, expecting uh, a big night out of a few of those players. Absolutely. Here's the Flowers City Union. Do you want to give us that one, Todd? Well, Colin Mueller, you know, he's kind of the workhorse of this team. Let's mm -hmm. just start with him at the top of the roster. He's mm -hmm. a very physical player. Mm -hmm. I think Chattanooga will have a difficult time with him. Mm -hmm. uh, Demi Dev has proven to be a beast for a lot of people. Number 11, Sierra. Austin Cranick, just number 88. He goes and goes and goes. He'll mm -hmm. be fun to watch tonight. Mm -hmm. You go down that order. I know that the one player that really stands out to Rod Underwood will be wearing number 42 tonight, Andre Diaz. He is a guy that... We could see marked, double marked, and they will pay a lot of attention to him, along with uh, Veracona, who mm -hmm. has a lot of experience in his danger. And then Fernandez, too. Mm -hmm. Fernandez, you know, a player that has come to this organization and done very well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I had a quick word with Coach Jack Agadiato for the game. He's very excited to be here. Looking forward to the atmosphere in the stadium and uh, now they made the long journey, ready to play some soccer. So uh, we'll see how these guys do tonight. But uh, looking forward to this one. Yeah, you know, it's, nice been, it's, it's been a rough road for them, right? Mm -hmm. you know, they, they played well mm -hmm. in the Cup. Mm -hmm. Chattanooga, of course, has opened up mm -hmm. in the most difficult and possible way to play. You've played mm -hmm. Maryland. You've played Valley United. So mm -hmm. you've played the East and the West. You've played right. the leaders. We have. Yeah, and then yep. you get Atlanta. And uh, I know tonight should mm -hmm. feel a little bit different to them. Should be a nice to be back at home again. That's yeah. what the players are saying before the game. We had a quick chat with some of the players and they were glad to be back home. And uh, I know Rod and uh, Chris Gray are going to be back too. So, uh, yeah, we enjoyed the game at Lounge. It was a great be away, and uh, I enjoyed being a spectator rather than having to work that <laughs> night. Uh, even though the result wasn't great, but it was still a good game, good experience for the guys, and they're ready to be back at home playing regular season soccer. So, uh, yeah, stand by for 90 minutes of great soccer, folks. We'll uh, be bringing you the game uninterrupted, and I uh, hope you enjoy the game tonight. And... Uh, if you get tired of hearing us talking, the option is to come down to the stadium and see a game live in person. Go to cfctix.com and buy yourself a season pass. Lots of perks on that one, discounts and so forth by being a season ticket holder. And Or you can buy the, uh, the pack of the tickets you can use any time during the season. So that's always a good deal too. If you're not sure when you're going to make it, be on vacation, whatever, doesn't matter. Buy the pack of the tickets and you can come down. Never your schedule suits. Plan ahead, right? Absolutely. Plan ahead. That's it. And... Uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff. I heard that the folks who bought season tickets early got a personal phone call from the players. Say thank you, which is nice. So that's always a good thing. But, uh, yeah, the atmosphere tonight, weather's great. It's uh, mid-70s, a little cloudy, uh, but not, uh, not super hot. So it's good for playing soccer. So we will see if that uh, has any impact on the game. When it gets hot and humid, yeah, it's not so much fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, uh, that feel gets hot. Right, it does. And you know, obviously, if you played earlier today, it mm -hmm. was partly cloudy sunny and warm mm -hmm. and fortunately the weather mm -hmm. has changed and now it's a little bit more cloudier the temperatures dropped a little bit mm -hmm. should be easier right so the keys to the game tonight we'll be playing Rod Underwood's uh, possession based soccer uh, trying to hit the team on the break and uh, look for another home win really I think 
uh, after their success against Memphis in the Cup. We're looking for that kind of game. Hit them early, get a goal, and see if we can build on that. That's, uh, of course, having said that, curse the commentator means it'll be completely different. <laughs> it's, uh, teams going into their huddle now, getting ready to go. And then we'll be uh, ringing the game once kickoff starts, and the referee will get us underway momentarily. Referees in the yellow, for those of you who uh, are new to soccer. Uh, we've got one in the middle, one on each sideline, and we've got a fourth fisher who takes care of all substitutions and any kind of regulations that need us an extra opinion. So uh, we are about ready to go. You can probably see... Oh, there's the ref. Thank you. So we've got uh, Alexander Sedishkov, the main ref, and then Chris Klotch. Jody Lettiger and Bryce Hammonds are fourth. So well, those guys have been here before and they know the way around Finley Stadium, so that's good. Um, don't forget, the noise you hear in the background is the Chatter Hooligans, the noisy supporters of the Chattanooga FC over here on the right-hand side. You can just see the flags in your picture. They were making noise all night long. Don't be alarmed by the noise, people. <laughs> here we go. Game our way. You know, Simon, I was interested to get your perspective. There were a lot of nice complimentary things said after the Atlanta match. But how did the team have to feel? Oh, obviously, you know, you go into any game expecting to do well and uh, just outplayed and simply by a team that is, you know, professionally trained with uh, diet coaches and all the things that the pro teams get. So a little bit, you know, disappointed on the night. But I talked to them say before the game, they were very positive. They said, no, we're ready to play at home and we're excited and they seem in good shape. Now watch Andre Gray. He is the man with the skills. Look at him. Watch his footwork. <laughs> he will sell you a dummy so fast. He's really good. I think Gray, and, uh, yeah. Gray is absolutely one the, fabulous. One of the players expected to potentially come up with a goal tonight. Mm -hmm. He is. He is. Um, Ian Serro also, after scoring uh, in the first game, on that penalty kick in the first game. Um, so, yeah, Brett Jones, also our main striker, is uh, one to watch for striking. But some of the midfield guys get goals. Alex McGrath has got a couple already and Tate Robertson too, so some of the midfield guys get the rebounds and make the difference, but uh, Chattanooga so far in control of the game, taking possession of the ball, and uh, in these early stages we're waiting to see what each team does, so. Yeah, you start to look for There's some There's that space. nice long ball, and again Flowers is leaving a bit too much space there for Brett Jones. Here he comes, trying to get the cross in, tucks inside, goes down under a challenge, no penalty kick. Brett Jones expecting the referee to give that, but uh, it was a clean, clean tackle. As I said earlier, Chattanooga playing in the dark blue strip and Flower City in the uh, what it fuchsia come violet strip. Uh, playing from right to left, so usually there's a bit of advantage here in these summer nights when you have the sunshine in the face of the opposing team tonight. We haven't got that, just have cloud, so. But this is still Chattanooga's preferred side to play from. Here we go, Brett Jones, great pass, Gray, Gray scuffs the shot, McGrath can't get to it and it rolls out for a goal kick to Flower City. That was a let off for Flower City because Gray should have buried that in the back of the net. Yeah, Jones and Gray, the two we've been talking about, mm -hmm. right? The two that we just, I just feel like that uh, if there's going to be an early goal, it's going to come from one of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And they're a fun combination to watch for sure. Absolutely. See what Mikel Ortega does in goal for them tonight for Flower City. And who sense not too troubled there. Ian Serro trying to make the break on the left wing. Great touch in there to Brett Jones. Brett Jones got one on one. Can he shoot? Good block. Good save from Ortega. Well, Ortega had a, a busy night. He's had a couple of busy nights. Mm -hmm. And he is, uh, I wonder about his confidence with his defense. Well, we'll see how they do tonight. So far, Chattanooga having the lion share. That's, uh, you know, a couple of attacks already. And we're only like three minutes in, so <laughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> but we'll see. From your perspective, when a keep hangs on to it longer, mm -hmm. is he uncertain of his defense? He's really trying to find a gap to play into. He's looking for his players to move. And he's see, obviously being any forward-facing player on the team, he's got the view of the whole field. And sometimes the players don't make it easy for him and don't... Uh, 
don't make space, so he ends up not being able to get the ball to them. We've we got somebody player. down, yeah, somebody have, hurt. And they're calling in for some help. And down and down for a moment. Mm. You know, in this game, like all other games, taking care of your athletes is certainly a top priority and consideration. Absolutely. And we see so much head-to-head -head contact. I don't mm -hmm. know what happened here, but... You we always do. caution now on the side of air, right? They do. They're very careful. Um, certainly after all the head injuries we've seen at the uh, Euros last year. Uh, and then the issue with Christian Eriksen as well, where his heart stopped during the game, which was awful. So we are much more careful with these with concussion and so forth. Um, you never so like to speculate too much, but it oh, looks no. like... No. Right? Yeah, you never know. I mean, something's a collision. Working on it's a bloody nose, maybe. Something like that. It's an unlucky collision. Yeah. Gives a chance, both teams a chance to reset, catch their breath. Oh, it's Vericona. Okay. Uh, you know, one of their players that you would mark defensively and keep an eye on. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, he's well enough to walk off. They'll probably treat him off the field, then uh, he'll play again. So that's okay. That's good. All right. So momentarily we'll be starting a second, folks. Yeah, okay, check he's okay for concussion. He'll be able to rejoin the, the play in a moment. They have to rejoin at the centre line, folks. They're not allowed to uh, just come anywhere. That's what the fourth official's doing. He's making sure he's uh, fit to continue and then rejoin play at the referee's signal. I always thought Vericona, in watching him play, certainly possesses a lot of speed, understands the game well, mm -hmm. rarely gets caught out of position. Boy, and this is just... Chattanooga spreading the field. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. All right. Find that space. Yeah, it's it's a matter of the early days. There's a certain amount of probing to seeing where the weak spots are and making sure your guys are in the right place. I always thought you spend the first five to seven minutes just as absorbing mm -hmm. some of the pressure and the speed of the game. Or giving it. <laughs> if you <laughs> sure. If you're Chattanooga, see, you'll that's give them the pressure. <laughs> so. McGrath here, he strikes you as a physical player, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Alex is great. He's uh, very much on the case. Plays because he's a Britney plays in the English style and that, you know, is, is physical all the time. So, yeah, he's very good at that. I've got to say a quick uh, shout out to Alex's friend Henry in Spennymoor who's watching tonight back in England. It's really after midnight. So, hey, Henry, hope you're staying up all night with us. Enjoy the game, mate. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, also shout out to a couple of ch hooligans got married last weekend. Uh, so, uh, that was good too. Couple did you make all the rounds? No, they do. They people meet. No, did you make all the rounds? Did I make all the rounds? Yeah, I no. just, I've just got a great social media account. What can <laughs> <Okay>. I say? <laughs> You've said enough, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not doing that. So down we've another injury. Looks like uh, yeah, that's Fernandez. Fernandez, the uh, striker. Got everybody, a you know, the players that I just felt like mm -hmm. would be their key players tonight: Fernandez and Veracona. Mm -hmm. Right. Both early injuries. Yeah. Yeah, Gio number 10 is going to be the danger man too. The other striker, he's the one we have to watch out for. He's where he's got on the score sheet this season. But, uh, yeah. If, if somebody's got orders to mark Fernandez, they may be marking him really closely and may have been taking him out at the chance they get. We'll see. Barracona has checked back in, so mm -hmm. to your point, they felt like he was ready to go. Yep. An opportunity maybe here now for Flower City to work on a build-out. Right, right. Chattanooga seems to have had the possession, and there's Vericona, who we talked oh, about. Oh, goes down a little easily. Are they going on? No. Giving a free kick for that. He went down a little bit too easily, I thought. He didn't really have much pressure on him. But free kick for Flower City. All right. Well, he does put a lot of pressure on you defensively. Really, just the first couple of moments of possession for the first time mm -hmm. early in this match now for Flower City. They've they've been defending. They've been in their own half most of the yeah. game so far. Will it be Chronic or Vericona here? They double up. A couple of options for Flower City. Bit of a delay here. Referee's talking to the defenders yeah. a bit, telling them to behave and stop pushing and shoving off the ball, which they all do. All gamesmanship. Oh, 
It is going to be Veracona. And a bit of a waste, a bit too yeah. long. Nobody on the end of that one out for a goal kick to Chattanooga FC. After all that. Well, we've seen early already that it's going to be Veracona certainly on one side mm -hmm. and Gray on the other side along with a few others that can get downhill in a hurry. Get on the sides. Yeah, Chattanooga with four at the back have plenty of options for spreading the ball across the field and they'll use the full width. That's a nice ball. Gray unmarked. Sets McGrath off. They still have a good posh at McGrath. Using his speed, look at him go, gets uh, pushed down. No, again, no, no free kick or penalty given, but uh, <laughs> McGrath and I hold him back there. That's why I like watching him play. <laughs> yeah, I thought his play against Atlanta was so physical. He, he, was. he never backed down from anybody. No, no, and you, they right. shouldn't be afraid of it. Even right. though they were you know, several leagues above, they shouldn't be afraid of them. Right. They're still guys that play the same game. But, uh, yeah, and I was, I was proud of the guys. They did really good in Atlanta. They, you know, didn't back off, and they tried to make breaks and shots on goal. But uh, well, at one point, he was actually lying on the cement. Mm -hmm. uh, that game was played at uh, not at Mercedes Stadium. Right. But out in Kennesaw, and they turfed it as far as they could. But at some point, you ran into cement, and at one point, yeah. he found himself lying on it. That's right. Uh, he's uh, he's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so a few days ago. There you go. And here we go again. Brett Jones down the right wing, looking for the cross. Goes deep, a little too much for Gray. A bit too much on that one. And that's going to bounce away. The uh, surface at Finley is pretty bouncy with all the, the rubber inside it. And uh, it has caught a few teams out. There's also uh, a drop at each side for drainage. It uh, right. drops quite steeply at the sides. And a lot of visiting teams aren't used to that and it's caught them out. It certainly does bother you even more if you're used to playing on grass. But right. in this league, several of the teams play at multi purpose facilities exactly. And so exactly well we saw that yeah, yeah the game in arizona the last one the last away game transitions not quite as yeah. difficult well that's it the the uh yeah the game in arizona they were playing on a cow field where they kept mm -hmm. cows on it and it's like oh they play soccer here as well <laughs> it, was a, <laughs> it was a pretty basic field but you know we we do forget everybody's got quite as nice a place as finley stadium to play so uh, we do get a bit sprawled here now Flower City looking to try and make something happen. Yeah, here's Mueller. We talked about him. Yeah. Just being a workhorse mm -hmm. of a guy. Look, he fends off there so nicely. So strong. Oh, yeah. Hard to push off the ball. You can see Chattanooga playing a pretty high line so far. Yep. The back four way up in the middle of their half. And again, this is Veracona. Well, he's had his down. foot on the ball quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he will do the whole game. So... You see anything developing here early? No, it's, it's what we saw in the previous January games. There's a lot of possession. Uh, not going forward unless they're totally sure there's a, a good break on. A lot of communication. The guys are doing a lot of shouting with each other. And just focusing on Rod's thing, which is possession. So I think when people hear about a formation that's 4-3-3, they think it's just always offense. And mm -hmm. that's not always true, right? There's, not at all. There's some patience involved. No, it's a fluid formation. Uh, and Rob was saying to me before the game that it's pretty fluid. Even if he starts out in one formation, if it demands a change, they'll make it on the fly. So, makes it hard for an opposing team to catch up. Now, Flower City looking a little dangerous. Can they get the ball in the box? Good tackle. Yeah. Nick Spielman there doing his magic. And we're away. Ian Serro with the ball. <laughs> Dispossessed. Kona again. And it's good to see mm -hmm. Fernandez back in yeah, there. Yeah, right? he's, he's over that, so that's good. I think those are two people that can strike from distance. Right. We may see, yeah, as the game goes on, we may see a shot from them further out. For now, trying to get in close. There's a chance for a shot. Ah, oh, and over the top. A nice strike.
You'd also say it's good to see Kevin Gonzalez healthy in mm -hmm. goalkeep for Chattanooga. He sure. had a, a momentary twitch of the knee in the cup game against Atlanta. He did. That's right. It was a bit of a concern, but uh, he looks good. He was uh, giving me the thumbs up before the game, so he looks like he was in good shape. Oh, nice. Nice nifty this play by Cyril, all right? And there's Richard Dixon and McGrath covering together, which is, is good. They're both watching the game. And the anticipation, there's Brett Jones. See the anticipation? He's got four on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Diaz leading the charge, right? And, yeah. And a few others laying back to help out. Right. Well, it, I don't think it's any secret, right? Good players are marked. Mm hmm. Well, I'm sure they've uh, done their homework and watched yeah. our broadcasts, so <laughs> they'll know who we rate. So well, be... they've listened to you. No, they know exactly <laughs> they what have. to do, right? They, uh, well, let's hope not. But, uh, <laughs> so I think they're throwing a few, uh, few dummies there and say, oh, yeah, you've got to watch so and so. He's brilliant, and then we don't play him. So. <laughs> Side out for Ward here. <laughs> Only one player behind midfield. I think Chattanooga has had certainly have to be happy with their possession mm -hmm. as Mueller will watch this one. Sail out and leave it up to his keeper. I thought they got the stadium clock fixed. That's good. It was stuck on seven minutes for a while. Now it's back up to where it should be. So 14 minutes in, still nil-nil at uh, Chattanooga. Pressing, looking more like the score at the moment. City very cautious right here. Mm -hmm. You know, it is one thing to watch a player on film. It's another thing to talk about a player, but when you see them up close mm -hmm. and you find yourself locked in with a guy like Gray or mm -hmm. you know, yeah, or, one or, on one, it's yeah, completely different. All of a sudden you've yeah. got a you gotta handle Brent Jones and it's a lot easier before you get out there. Mm-hmm. You're waiting for Sarah tonight to have a big night. I think so. He's, he's due one. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> he, he played well against Memphis when we were down here, and I'm looking forward to him doing the same again. And again, this back to possession soccer without going backwards too much, just keeping the ball fluid across the field from side to side. It uh, makes Flower City run a bit more, too. There's a good shot. Sarah, oh, nice. you were just saying that. Uh, just a little. Gets the left yeah. foot striking, but uh, just pulls it one side of the goal but uh, he had lots of room nobody closed him down he had lots of room to get in and make the shot Jones with a nice just he touched the ball off his chest mm -hmm. yep very calm right so sure let's have a replay of that if we can see that because it's a good shot Let's put a nickel in the machine, see if it'll rewind. You got a nickel? There we go. Let's put a nickel in. Look Here we go. Yeah, nice center. Calm. Off the chest. Good shot. But yes, does on target. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, I got to have a pile of nickels for that replay machine. I'll make sure I keep them going. It's important <laughs> to have that. But it looks good when it works. <laughs> to shake this defense out for a moment, right? Just a little bit. Make flat. them overplay. Yeah, the, the, the attacker's a little happy to sit back on. Yep. And the defense at Chattanooga, when it's two on four, it is a little hard. I think the first goal either way will change that, and we'll see yeah. a bit more. At the moment, both teams happy. Well, they conserve energy, too. It's early on. Um, it's not super hot yet, but it is still, you know, you want to conserve energy. Oof. Jones just couldn't keep control. Flower City will enjoy an opportunity just to have the ball mm -hmm. in possession here for a moment, and right away Ward takes it away from Diaz. Another 
another opportunity to build out here. You just feel like it's Chattanooga waiting for a misplay. They are. It's, it's uh, keep possession until yeah. they make a mistake and then uh, go. But they're, they're letting Brett Jones get in all the time. They're giving yeah. him too much room at the back. And he's. And I think he's won a, won a corner kick. They mark no? him. Yeah, yes, they, he has. Yeah. Yep. First time to yep. get a set here. Yeah. First shot at a set yeah. in this match. Right. And this is where they all come from, the majority. A lot of goals right. come from corner kicks. Yep. Uh, and from open play, but... Uh, this is the drill you can work on in training, so you can always, you know, work on this. This is a uh, Chick-fil-A corner kick. Eat more chicken, as they say. <laughs> so I'll watch Gray, you watch Jones. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> they're going to they're break in a second and go. So This will be McGrath. Yeah. McGrath, he's got Cerro close. He yeah. may go short. He, he'd probably go along with the first one, but he's got McGrath. So there you go. goes along. There's long, Bray. Yeah. Back into the mix. Saro coming in. And yes. Up and over. Up and over. Spielman coming for that one, but uh, just a bit too much on it. Couldn't get it down. But again, Chattanooga having time and space to make the shot. Now Ortega, who was tested early, feels like he has settled in at goal for Flower City. Well, that was Tate. Sorry, that was Tate Robertson. <laughs> Quite all right. Not Spielman. Sorry, Tate. <laughs> Tate <laughs> going for the shot. You know, luckily, <laughs> we don't have to handwrite those apology letters. Oh, my. Yeah, that would be awful. You know, I always thought for the keepers, one of the hardest things mm -hmm. to adapt to early, for whatever reason, was just the depth perception. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people understand sometimes just how far away the players are, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And, and you're trying to put it in a certain spot. And it's not easy to do on a crowned field like this. Right. It's a little compressed on the TV, yeah. too. When you're down at the Ooh. field, it's a whole lot faster. That's Diaz on Ward. Yeah. And Ward has nothing to do with it. He's not, not liking that. Yeah. Diaz wanted to offer a hand of friendship. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> waving the yellow card. They're calling for the card. Yeah, they are. But we don't see a book on the field, do we? Not yet. We will. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have uh, yellow cards in my bag here, so if they do put the camera on us, I can wave a yellow card from the commentary box. <laughs> well, Chattanooga has... Any good, but still. <laughs> do you show those when you get pulled over? Oh, sure. Oh, All the okay. time. Continually, yes, continually. So. Five yellow cards this year against Chattanooga. Seven mm -hmm. times for Flower City. So, Rath and Cerro again, then, yeah. that pair on the free kicks. That's a dangerous combination. Oh, yeah. Right? Each can do a lot, and these teams are still pushing and shoving, yeah. though. Well, that's going on. Right. Robert was shouting at the defenders to hold the line at the halfway. Halfway. You can't see on your camera shot at home, but they're... Uh, and we've got middle field action as yeah, well. Yeah, he's telling them to hold on, because they're... They don't want the break. Got Kranchek waiting to break there. Oh, and that's the own goal. Oh, unlucky. Good shot. Oh. <laughs> Good shot from Flower City. Almost on, almost on themselves, right? <laughs> yeah. They call that friendly fire. Absolutely. Right? They all count. But yeah, the uh, Chattanooga defenders keep an eye on Kranchek, who's hanging around the halfway line. Well, here we go back into but, the corner. Uh, the again. action's in your course right. here in the shot, so you can see what's going on. The hooligans are waving this one on, making a load of noise, and everybody's in the box, in the six-yard box. McGrath. Long ball. Chipped in by Robertson, headed on, and almost got the flick. Spielman. Yeah, right. Spielman's there with his height. A lot of defenders do this. They go up because right. of their height. And uh, almost came off. Bad giveaway there from Flower City. Easy to give that one away. Nifty little pass in the Offside middle. Offside on McGrath. Oh, the flag is up. Yeah, flag's yeah. up. And the linesman caught that one. Well, Chattanooga certainly has been in the attacking third tonight. Yeah, lion's share of the possession right. too. So, uh, 
but uh, you've got to turn that into goals I've seen plenty of games where there's been a team that has all the stats and looks good and has possession but they don't turn it into anything and it's <laughs> Well, do you feel like good. it's been the 3-5-2 that we thought Flower City would play mostly tonight? Yeah, I think so. Right? Pretty much they got the two attackers. Right. They're trying uh, to mark, play defensively, are. conservatively. Yeah. And it has shown. Uh, you know, the yeah. problem with that is that mm -hmm. you're going to have to deal with a lot of offense, right? Right. Right. Well, they know Chattanooga's an offense-minded team. Obviously done their research, and that's not something we hide. So they've been uh, they're prepared for that. They're prepared to absorb quite a lot of pressure during the 90 minutes. McGrath and Ward on this near side. Yeah, they, they're all they, the way back. Yeah, they, they're, they're working hard again, all the way yeah. back, and they're getting up in the in the attacking zone too. So yeah, and they're able to create anxiety yeah, like this. Great ball here comes Gray. Still not cleared. Gray wins it. Robertson Jones, Jones hits it. Somebody. The ball's loose, bubbling around. Can't clear it. Oh my goodness. And McGrath, McGrath comes in at the end, <laughs> trying to sweep it up. Referees having a word about that. Wow. What a mess. Well, you had the break that you Could wanted. Not you had Gray, it. you had Jones, yeah. you had McGrath, they were all filling in. Nobody could shoot, nobody could defend. Right. It was <laughs> Watch Let's right see here. That again. Yeah. We can catch that in the world. There's a combination there of sports here. There's Brett Jones. Yeah. Gray can't get the power on it. It runs away. Four defenders. They kick it out of the keeper's hands. McGrath slides in. <laughs> Comedy of errors, that one. <laughs> wow. All right. Watch the boot here. I'm going to try to clear midfield. And Flower City just has not had much of an offensive press here tonight. Every time they seem to get behind the line, Chattanooga is able to regroup defensively. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of these, these players in the Chattanooga defense played together last year, too. So Colin Stripling's the new boy, but uh, these guys have, have you know, got a good system working. Here's Gray, one on one, and nice takeaway. Haven't seen a lot of two on one. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when Jones is back there and you're you're trying to clear. You're very cautious right mm -hmm. now. One slip up, and it's in the back of your net. Mm -hmm. One would think now would be a matter of time. That's a great ball over Travis Ward. Would you expect anything one on else one. from Dixon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cerro takes the shot. Oh, nice step in defensively Not there. Not cleared yet. Comes back to Richard Dixon. Chattanooga able to gather the ball up safely. I'm just trying to get in the slot there. And Mueller sweeps it aside, but Jones. Yeah. Boy, Jones is everywhere right now. He is, isn't he? Yes, he is. I just think he senses it. Mm hmm He's keen for a goal. There's no doubt about that. And uh, as Chattanooga has the full bench, he wants to make an impression and not be subbed out if he isn't, you know, getting the goals. Here's a dangerous player for Mendes. Nice yeah, he's. Uh, yeah. In Chattanooga, concentrating on possession, playing the triangles, which is what yeah, a lot of you who are learning the game play. Your coach makes you play the triangles, keep possession, mm -hmm. but that's why you do it because it works. <laughs> and it's it's one of those drills that's got to be automatic, and these guys do it so well. And the long ball, Chattanooga chase it. Here we go. Oh, good save from Ortega. And it bounces his way. He was lucky there. Grath with a thumbs up for the pass on that one. He just uh, got a bit too close for the byline and couldn't, uh, couldn't turn it back in. But again, Chattanooga keep pressing.
Chronic over there. He's he's starting to get a little bit more involved now mm -hmm. for Flower City. I think he's warmed up to the pace here. Yeah, he's he's staying up field most of the game, and I think he wants to uh, make an impact. We'll see. So they got a long free kick, no scoring distance yeah. from there, but uh, they're going to float one into the box. Everybody's lined up on top of the 18-yard box waiting for the delivery. Here it comes. Pushed away. Back in. There's Chronic. Out for a corner. Yeah, corner of the Flower City, first one of the evening. I think Chronic is one of those players for Flower City that just matches up physically, if you will. Him and Demidev, mm -hmm. both. Yeah, both of them are tall, strong guys. Yeah. And this is, uh, we mentioned earlier that uh, they were worried about Diaz. Mm -hmm. Rod Underwood said he is a player that needs to draw a lot of our attention. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll get the corner here. Swinging in, pushed away. Chattanooga got plenty of coverage on that one, and it's cleared nicely. Now Flower City beginning to warm up here a little bit offensively. Yeah. A little bit more structure to their offensive game. Yeah, we're 30 minutes in now, and they're uh, certainly in the, the swing of the game. If you're wondering about Demi Dev, there he is. We talked about mm -hmm. his size. They, yeah. They call him Andre mm -hmm. the Giant instead of Andre Demi Dev. Right. And it's probably uh, easy to pronounce for Americans yeah. to say that. So <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> but yeah, one of the one of the many overseas players. He's from Ukraine, and uh, you know they love their soccer out there. So he's placed to a high standard. This is Gray. And of course, Wilson would get Kranich's had so much experience. Nice ball there to Brett Jones. Just a bit too much on it. I mean, Jeffrey Kranich's played at Genoa in Italy in Chievo Verona. Mm -hmm. And he was at the West Ham Academy for a couple of years, so he's got a lot of experience already. He's uh, he's not wet behind the ears. He's got good experience at good clubs in Europe. That's going to roll out. No, he keeps it in. Yeah, play. Fernandez. Healthy and playing. Went down for a moment, but is back, and Diaz has uh, no. stumbled. No penalty. To the good. turf. Yep, good clean tackle. And he and Spielman exchange pleasantries. Yes, they do. As you would. Oh, they do. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Gonzalez Diaz fouled. straight into the goal. Wow, lead. that's a bit hard. That's going to be a card. Yep. Uh, that's y yellow card. Yeah, Diaz had a moment there. He was frustrated. Yep. And he takes it out on the keeper. First yellow of the night to Flower City. They're eighth of the year now. I think Diaz just trying to make something happen, right? Probably getting yeah, a little frustrated he offensively. He's trying to make something happen, and he, he feels like he may be on his own as the only striker. So he's... Yeah. Yellow card sponsored by Captain White yep. McGarvey. I care. Got <laughs> foul vision. Go see Captain White McGarvey. I've always thought those cards would be nice to give to parents, <laughs> right? Okay. That's isn't it, Doesn't that seem like a great way to control the house? It might be one way. <laughs> yeah. It sure beats me yelling at somebody. That's I can tell true. you that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now well, here's Jones again <laughs> now, and everybody draws a big breath. It's a good long ball. Jones tries to chase it in. Wins a corner. Yeah, the defense comes up from good, behind. Good play. Good Another play. corner. Yep. Yeah. Chattanooga now starting to get the benefit of the corners here. Yeah, we'll see if uh, McGrath's on this one or Ward. You know, their last corner kick attempt, they were managed to hold on to possession for a little bit. They held on, yeah, yeah. all the way through up to the back to the halfway line. And First two corners weren't as successful. A quick loss of possession. But Chattanooga seems to be... Right, Getting closer and closer on these. It's a Chick-fil-A corner kick. Eat more chicken. A little bit long again. Gray gets it. You know, Demi Deb had Mark Gray on that. Mm -hmm. Two guys with considerable size. This is Veracona who can break out. We've got a break on Flower City. What have we got? Getting the numbers up. 
Cranick here. Chattanooga need to get back. Oh, defended so solid, well. Solid, solid defending. Like hitting a brick wall. <laughs> that was Spielman. Yep. Doing what he did last season, just stopping everybody getting through. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was slightly behind the play on the breakout when mm -hmm. it happened, right? The buildup was, yeah, was in was front a, of him, and he... It was a quick break. He yeah, managed but, to get back into it. Yep. Still a uh, nice ball. Trying to find Brett Jones. McGrath there was came in from the right side unmarked. If the players had looked up, McGrath was down here on the near side, totally unmarked. There's no one on him. Acres of space. Ortega came on a goal a little bit earlier that time. He's mm -hmm. tired of having to defend from so deep. Mm -hmm. There's Demi Dev. Yeah. Does Gray have a chance here? If he's not, he's going to make one. He's not quitting. I'd hate to see him coming at me if I was a defender. He's a talented <laughs> football player, is he not? He's great. Yes. Yeah. He really is. But you know, when you when you get locked up with him. And you're running backwards. Diaz right. plays it wide. Uh -huh. You yeah. start to you start to lose some of your position, right? You're backing right. up defensively. Sure. sure. And you would think the offensive player would just, when you see that, just keep driving right at a defender who's backing up. Mm -hmm. John able to reset. And for gaps in Flower City's midfield. Well, it just feels like it is It is Ward on one side with mm -hmm. Saro, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. then on the other side, you've got Gray. Mm -hmm. And you got Jones, who's lurking all over the place, primarily to our near side, though. But this McGrath-Ward combination with Jones over here on the near side. Mm -hmm. Which is where most of the play has happened tonight. Mm -hmm. It has. There's been a lot more on this side. Right. But that's by chance. That's the way the gaps have come. Lots of room for Soro. There's Taylor Gray. Dispossessed. Oh. Unusual. Yeah. Dem Demi Dev just came yeah. right through on that, didn't he? He did. And now he's going to take it a little bit further. <laughs> going to take it out for a throw in. <laughs> that's all right. I don't mind that. Coming up on the 36 minute mark here. And yeah, the possession more, time is 10 more minutes to yeah, go. Decidedly in Chattanooga's favor. So far, but we've got to make something out right. of it. There are, there are no points for possession in this game. It's all about getting in the back of the net. It's nice to watch pretty football, but what makes the table interesting is the goals. <laughs> Do you feel like Flower City starting to come up a little bit more defensively? Yeah, or they're a bit more confident. Right. Yeah. Starting to get more towards the middle third mm -hmm. here. Again, back over here to McGrath. He has, uh, if you will, he has quarterbacked well from that side. It's a nice ball to Brett Jones. Oh, no, that was Tate Robinson all the way up from the defense. Sorry. <laughs> I was expecting to see Brett there. It was Tate. This is where Chattanooga plays a little bit more side to side, it feels like. Once mm -hmm. they get into the attacking third, mm -hmm. a little bit more willing to play the entirety of the, the width of the field, if you will. Yeah, definitely. Something we weren't doing as much last season, kind of sticking on one side or the other. So that uh, success comes from this from confusing the opposition, changing sides a lot. Again, the, there's those triangles of possession yeah, again. Yeah, Very nice. Ward and, and Dixon so good in that element, aren't they? Yeah, Here he is, Gray. This is a chance. Takes a shot. And doesn't come off. Post wide to the right. Yeah. A little bit, a bit wide there. Well, there were some who felt like it might be an easier task tonight against Flower City. 
And certainly Chattanooga has had ample opportunities, but still not able to get on the score sheet here. That's right. And looking at, I mean, again, it's what you get for looking at stats. The stats right. favor Chattanooga, but on the field so far, it's, you know, still no goals. Robertson just looking for something. And Flower City is not going to get drawn into a tight defense, are they? Not really. They're hanging, they're hanging back a little bit. Yeah. I suspect that will stop in the second half, but they're hanging back a little bit. Robertson here. They're more focusing on Stifer in Chattanooga attacks. Looking for some room. Here comes Ward. Yeah, nice breakthrough. Shoot, shot. Oh, tries to feed Brett Jones, and I think he was offside. Yep. Flag goes up for that one from the uh, from the sidelines there. Linesman catching that one. Crowd on hand here tonight. Oh yeah, this club has been waiting to get back in action here in Finley Stadium, and so have their fans. You know, the entire league is in action this weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the clubs have had some time off. And I did wonder how many teams would take the first half just to develop back into game speed. Right, right, right. You yeah, that's true. Once we get into the rhythm of playing almost every week, it'll be uh, a lot smoother. All the kinks will be out of the system. And of course, there are games coming up. We're away on May the 7th at Maryland and Bobcats. Uh, last time out here at Finley Stadium was a one-all draw, that penalty kick from Ian Serrow uh, that got Chattanooga's goal. Um, and then we're away again after that to these guys, to Flower City Union. Um, we're away up in Rochester, New York, where they play on the 21st. Then we're home again May 28th. So almost a month to wait for a home game for Chattanooga. But plenty of travel involved, plenty of air miles. Yeah. Uh, and then we got home games that weekend, and we got Syracuse, AC Syracuse on June the 11th. So home games starting to fill in. Plus, of course, the ladies' team gets going on June the 4th. So that's more soccer at Finley Stadium. And, and the hopeful news, the good news maybe out of Syracuse, is that new ownership is possibly in play. Mm -hmm. There have been some struggles there. Yeah, interesting story of that yeah, one. Too. Yeah. So, and of course we get to see uh, Coach Peter Fuller again, <laughs> <laughs> which is always nice to see Peter. So. Well, do you feel like CFC is just getting more into form? I mean, they played against the league's top teams. Mm -hmm. And. It's a little different tonight. Should it be? Yeah. Right? Uh, shouldn't really be, no, because they, they play together now. Plenty of practices, obviously. And a uh, bunch of friendlies for the season starting to say the players are all in place now. Uh, also, we'll be signing Chris Bermudez during the week, but everybody else has been in now for, you know, well over a month or two. So they've got a good, good foundation, and it's working too, which is great. When you're getting results, it's easier for the team to bond as well. If you aren't getting results, you, you know, don't get it. Now, it's Ian Cero feeding it into Tate Robertson. He wins the corner. Another Chattanooga corner on the near side. Can they get an early goal before we go to half time? This is a Chick fil A corner. Eat more chicken. Looks like it's going to be Cero instead of McGrath this mm -hmm. time. Yeah, those two are the dead ball guys. Yeah, now McGrath is. Yeah. He's still close. Yeah, they both case. hang around, don't they? Yeah. There we they go. They seem to be hanging around as a pair. Yeah. Little, little give and go here. Ah, it's not a great cross from Sarah, unfortunately. So, Flowers uh, is able to clear that one. Yeah. Right into the boot of Diaz, and he had no problem clearing. Yeah. So, Stratton able to get that back into play. That's Ward on the far side now. And very little room to operate. 
Oh, Diaz almost gives it up. He has. Spillman with the head of the gray. Gray has to come backwards, which he probably wasn't intending to do, but <laughs> trying to go again. Here we go. Nifty nice. move by Ward, right? It's deep, little too much on that one. Nick Spillman way up there. So and McGrath, great cross. Saro, Brett Jones, Spielman, gets the shot. Good save. It's like a deflection off. And Jones may have, down. That, he may have taken one in the head. I think he, he is, did. He is holding his he looks a bit dazzled. forehead, but he's up and ready to go. Again, sometimes in play, they will stop that immediately. Whatever it is, he has appeared momentarily to shake it off. Nice ball there to Ward. Oh, this is a very organized Jones, attack. Great shot, good save. Nice move from Chattanooga there again. Flower City not closing him down. It's all giving him far too much room. Well, what do you do when you have a great shot and a good save, right? You know, cancel that, each other out. That's, that's great, what it is. Great to watch. Watch this. So, put that nickel in the machine again, Todd. Sure. Let's see that replay. There we go. We've only got a couple great more pass. left. Though. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Good save, yeah. Great good save there from the take. All right. Chatting in the corner. Now they have gone the far post on most of these, have they not? Mm hmm. We're going to have we're going to have two minutes of stoppage time, folks. The uh, referee on the field keeps the time, so don't bother looking at the scoreboard. <laughs> the referee has the final clock. Comes, swings in, pushed away. Still not gone. Flower City not able to clear it. Boy, Chip right. back in. Yeah. Jones. Ortega down at the near post with his boot to clear it. And uh, offside, I think. Yep, called offside on Brett Jones. He was a little bit too close. And uh, free kick to Flower City. See if they can get into half time in the locker room without getting a goal in. Chattanooga knocking on the door like, like crazy. Oh, and I think they'd be happy to get in, right? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, without a, anything on the score sheet. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, if you can keep it clean for another couple of minutes. Sure. You have faced pretty much an organized attack for the last 30 minutes mm -hmm. of this match. Great long ball from Dixon. Jones on his own. He's going to have to carry it. Here he goes, gets the shot. Oh! Oh, and Ortega had... Right across the goal. Yeah, Ortega had lost some of his footing there too. He was yeah. He was dead in his spot. He wasn't going to be able to regain his feet. Great cross from Richard Dixon though. Let's see that again. Look at that, Richard Dixon. Yeah. Long, right across. Almost with Brett Jones' feet. Gets the head one touch. Just scuffs it across the surface of the goal. If there had been someone there to touch it in, that would have been a great goal. Well, you talked about the weather. You touched on it earlier. Watching the cup, it was a combination of rain, mm -hmm. snow in some places, mm -hmm. cold, windy weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. This has to be a nice change of pace for everybody. This is what we expect in the south, a little yeah. bit better weather. <laughs> I mean, Flower, Flower City just spent the night in a snowstorm mm -hmm. in their match against D.C. United. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't happen to us too often down here, thank no. goodness. Whole crowds in their feet, they're trying to will Chattanooga to get a goal. Just everybody's standing up, not just the hooligans, everybody's standing up. And that's the half. Still nil nil. Interesting game, very entertaining though to watch. Chattanooga having, as I said, the lion's share of the game. But uh, no goals just yet. Sure, there's some coming though, Todd. What did you think of that? Uh, again, I think we talked about it. We touched on it quite a bit. Chattanooga certainly had the more organized offensive approach mm -hmm. in the first half. They felt like they had some opportunities, just mm -hmm. weren't able to capitalize. Right. You know, but you can certainly see the combinations are working for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. The action's working. You just got to get that finishing in yeah. to uh, get the finished result. So that was a great game 
half the soccer folks will be uh, taking the break for the half time uh, we will come back with some commercials from our commercial sponsors now and don't go away get yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit and come on back we'll be here back in about 15 minutes time we'll see you then Garcia against Flower City Union from beautiful Finley Stadium with gorgeous Saturday night in May in, well, nearly May, April. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me, Simon Neal and Todd Agner here again, bringing the second half of the game. We'll show you a few of the highlights of the first half. It's still scoreless, but there's plenty of action to uh, keep us entertained during the first half. Here we go. Now, we saw a lot of this, didn't we? We did. Yeah, I mean, we saw Chattanooga just being patient, mm -hmm. looking for some areas to play. We did see a lot of that. That's the end of that. That's the, uh, the end of the game. Let's <laughs> 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 uh, see if we can run those beautiful highlights in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going live. Okay. See, I told you I'd get those nickels to the replay machine. Why did I tell you about that? You didn't listen to me. You've got to put folks. the real ones in, right? If you want to donate some nickels, uh, folks, I'll give you the address at the end of the broadcast. All right. So. Well, Simon, I, I, certainly, you know, you asked me about the first half, and yeah. I think that a quality start for anybody on the road is difficult, right? And Flower City mm -hmm. proved that. I thought it was yeah. a difficult start for them. Sure. But have they survived? Mm -hmm. And do they feel more confidence now here in the I'd second half? I'd say they've got, they've got to half time without right. conceding a goal because the other games they played, they have shipped goals. So uh, to come down here, they know Chattanooga is a strong team playing at home with a big support tonight. We were saying there's a lot of people in the stadium. Um, so, yeah, let's see what the second half holds. And if Flower City can keep up what they've been doing, they've had a couple of near misses and some lucky escapes. Um, they may not be so lucky this time. And, and maybe for Chattanooga, so passing accuracy mm -hmm. is always so critical, right? It is. And maybe a few just misses, just Mm -hmm. just ever so slightly tonight in that first half for Chattanooga. Right, and we saw a lot of that in previous seasons where they just, there just wasn't the connection or the passes were overhit. And this season, Rodham was, say, focusing on that possession and just making sure that uh, the possession is strong. That's a good move there. And Alex McGrath coming in, sliding in there, pushing Flower City back into their own half. Well, in a lot of ways, this reminds me a little bit of what Flower City did against D.C. United. They just frustrated United. Mm -hmm and just stayed in that game up until the 74th minute mm -hmm. before DC United finally managed to register three goals, although not enough apparently to save their coach. Right, well that's true, right, it's interesting. That was a good comeback and a good win, but didn't make the powers that be happy. And again, there's space. Oh, good save from Rodriguez there. Gonzalez, that's a good. Yeah, uh, carried himself all the way into Kevin the post Gonzalez, there. Gonzalez, didn't he, banged it in the post. Yeah. And that is the first quality shot. Yeah, that is the first real shot attack from Flower right. City. And maybe this is what we were talking about. You, you, you survive a half, yeah, maybe and, you, and, and you come out strategically maybe a little different, so we'll be watching maybe for some different formations. Yeah, maybe the coach gave him a shouting in the second half. <laughs> to get out and score. <laughs> The question is, is do you feel like they need to speed up the game a little bit, the match? It's hard to say. Um, the coach will have his own game plan, but uh, they could speed up. They've got to be able to keep it up for the whole. If they get a goal, they've got to keep it up and protect the lead. And that's not easy to do. <laughs> so. And I always thought speeding up sometimes could backfire. You know, you kind of, mm -hmm. all of a sudden your body has to operate quicker, your head has to operate quicker. Mm -hmm. And if you're not comfortable with that, you may make an overplay. You may be too aggressive. Mm-hmm. And I said it's hard to sustain. Yeah. But again, I would say certainly Chattanooga had a better run of play in the first half. Not a great deal of changes by either club. No, I didn't see any substitutions no. at this point. They usually come around the hour mark. So we should see some then. Uh, Rod's got the Chattanooga Reserves warming up right now. Uh, you can't see him off camera. Uh, the Flower City Reserves are on the bench. They, uh, they bought seven subs, so that was a good, good load to bring along. The Chattanooga say have the full squad. So we have uh, eight or nine people down there wanting to play. Uh, Juan Hernandez making sure they're warmed up and stretched. Looks like... Uh, Flower City is just pressing that back five up uh -huh. further and further, right? Higher and higher. Yes. But that does leave them a bit more exposed at the back. If yeah. Chattanooga lob a ball over the back, which they are good at, as we've seen, and seen Brett Jones get onto those. Lovely play there. 
Well, I think certainly we could agree that uh, Flower City has gotten this game to the half and given themselves a chance. If you were thinking that Chattanooga was the favorite coming into this one, like so many people, including myself, mm -hmm. were thinking. Right. Well, we haven't seen Flower City play before because they're new to the league, so we have to. Right. Don't have too much to go on. Uh, you never know if their first few games they have a, a bad breaks and then there's a good team underneath there or if that is the way they play, so it's hard to say. I see Kevin Gonzalez up and about on his feet. That's good. He's okay. He'll have a few bruises tomorrow morning, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great ball. Uh, there's, that's what you were talking about. There's Brett, and just got ahead of his defender in his offside. Boy, a few of those tonight for him, right? Uh -huh. Frustrating, just a just little bit too far out in step, front. He's a step too far yep. ahead. Some uh, of those passes maybe a little too heavy. Yep, but the linesman's catching them, and that's, yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. As we said, I feel like both teams have soaked up any early pressure and playing maybe a little bit more confident now. Uh -huh. Yep. Look at this three marks on Sarah, right? Yeah, uh, they just, know he's yeah. on the watch. Now they're playing wide. away from uh, Colin Stripling there. Right idea though. Yeah, a little more confidence for Flower City. They're, st they're stepping in and reading some of the passes better. That's Diaz over there. Boy, Dixon gets on him in a hurry. Nice cross. I think there's a handball. Yeah, ball bounced up. And the handball given. And we've got a player down. Ooh, that's Dixon down over there. Should we talked Dixon. about him, I yeah. thought, defensively keeping up with Diaz. And yeah, so on a good. night like tonight, you, you talked about the temperature. Do you worry about cramping at this point? Not yet. Usually later in the game. Okay. Towards about 75, 80 minutes. It's like Richard had a bit of a knock there. But he's stretching and he's up again, so that's good. Yeah, I think he's okay. See if he's going to go off and get that looked at. Well, he can move under his own power, so that's good. But uh, let's see if he's okay. Has he been he's as active as you thought he would be tonight? Oh, yeah, yep. definitely. Richard's always super yep. active. That's why he's a great defender and a great captain, because he's just all over the place. Yeah, they're going to check him out. I think that's just some new protocol to make sure he's okay. He's still giving all, doesn't want to get off the field. <laughs> <laughs> that's Richard. <laughs> that's what a captain's supposed to do, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Had those USL yet. stops at Tampa he's Bay. And he's good, so he's okay. All right. Charlotte and St. Louis, so oh, he yeah. has, he's seen it. He's he seen has. a lot of it. He has, and he's seen a lot here, and he's been terrific here for us. Yeah, Rich is such a nice guy, but on the field he's completely different. So <laughs> we get one of the people you don't want to meet one on one in the field. Sure. Outside he's delightful. It's just a lovely, lovely guy, and he's just yeah. You know, when he's got his game face on, like all these players. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is like, he was great. Watch him now. See what Taylor Gray does. Come on, Taylor. Oh. Ah, tries to flick it in for Cerro, but uh, too much on it. North Hague has grabbed it. Now, I think that's certainly their best effort here now in the second half. So, maybe another chance again here. Uh, turned aside quickly, defensive, defended. Well, do you feel a sense in the, a, a turn in the tide a little bit? Well, Chattanooga haven't scored yet, and I think 
They're expecting an earlier goal than this. That's a great ball. Having which Brett Jones. Again, yep, yeah, there's that flag on the far side. You can just see it. Over on the right hand side by the Warren and Griffin sign. That's so there he is. <laughs> Another offside. You can beat the offside trap, he's nearly away. Boy, in the moment as a player, mm -hmm. it's so hard to determine that, isn't oh, it? You don't stop. You play for the whistle, but you right. keep going. But it's, uh, you don't tend to worry about that. You know roughly where you are, but you aren't necessarily to the inch. And you assume you've got the advantage until they tell you not to. <laughs> so. Great play there. Trying to good yeah. save. There's that possession focus. Bit of a giveaway, but get it back there. Travis Ward doing his magic over there. That's a nice ball. Out to, out to Stratton. On in McGrath. Kona, who can be dangerous. Now it's a little give and go, Good maybe. Ship. Oh, nobody there. Across. Cleaned up. I thought maybe they might have. Out to Taylor Gray. Let's see what Chattanooga's favourite. Let's see if Chattanooga can make a break here. Dixon trying to find Gray. That wasn't a great pass. Now I said he's trying to build again. He'd come up to. 55 minutes of play. Now, Chattanooga came out of the desert with that point, mm -hmm. right? The, yep. And that, and I'm sure you want the three, obviously, but coming out of there with a point. Oh yeah, on the was, road was a good sign. Bad. Yeah. That was a, a long distance road trip. Wasn't too bad. Looks like we have a corner. Yeah, corner to Flower City. They're still right. keeping the pressure on. Another Chick-fil-A corner. This is a, a definite turn in play mm. here for Flower City. It is. They're starting to get a bit of pressure yeah. on Chattanooga. This is interesting. There are some big bodies right in the box there in front mm -hmm. of the goalie. You got Stratton, you got Cranick, McGrath, and they're all tr leaning and trying to find a good position here. Mm -hmm. Much more move. But Cranick's got a good spot. They just couldn't get it to him. Nice the way. Uh oh, bit of a nudge there. Boy, is Demi Dev down on the side? I think Taylor Gray. Well, you run out of room. Encouraged him to yeah. leave the field. Um, let's say that, and he's getting a yellow card for his troubles. You run out of room in a hurry over there. Yeah. So, Chanuga's first yellow of the night. Yeah. So one apiece on the yellow cards. It is what you're down. You can't tell from it. It's very close to the wall down there. That wall comes up very fast. There is a lot of space on the sidelines at this field. See how Flower City still up for this free kick. This time they've opted to take Cranick yeah. out of the box a little bit. It'll either be him or Veracona. Veracona wearing that number 19 there right there. Veracona. Pushed away. Dixon gets it away. Away from the goal. throw in Veracona. And that's that went out for a goal kick. Kevin Gonzalez waiting to make the kick it back into play, but he's been told to go back and take the dead ball kick. There he goes. 
for the referee, Chan to reset and come out. Stratton, old oh, a pass right back to the Flower City captain. Well, Fernandez there, he's, that was he's not proven to be talented tonight. The long ball in, still not cleared. Chan who getting rid of it, good shot. Bodies in the way, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Chattanooga forced him. Oh, and Dixon goes down. Kick it out for a throw in, and yeah, Richard Dixon looks like he's hurt. Well, so this is the second time. Yeah. And I am. I think, yeah, they are going to make a substitution. And I, I'm not convinced that he's not cramping up a little bit. I don't know, or maybe, maybe. it's just an injury that's plaguing him, but. He's gone down twice now. He has. So. Uh, Rod Underwood has got Damien Rodriguez ready to come on. Number 28. Let's see if they stretch so him in any he's particular not a way. Straight, straight substitution for Rich Dixon, of course. Mm -hmm. So he may try to put on a fast attacker, which is Damien's great, great area. And they may rearrange the uh, CFC defence to cover Richard being hurt. But he's down again, and that's not good with seeing Richard down like that. Boy, and you can rearrange with him out, but you can't oh, yeah. replace with him out, can you? That's correct. I mean, that's just... That is correct. So while that's going on, Chris Grayling is giving Brett Jones some instruction. Uh, just coming in for a word with Wood Underwood. Tate Robertson and Brett Jones having a few quick words. He's taking a slight pause there. Yeah, it's not good to see Richard Dixon like that lying on the floor. It takes a lot to knock him over. Chattanooga already minus one player with injury. Well, with the size of the squad, Chattanooga have uh, right. enough capacity to make it up, but it's more the personality of Richard Dixon that can, uh, <laughs> is what we need. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we've got a substitute ready. Dave Rodriguez ready. We looks like uh, Marcus Nagelstadt may be one of the ones to come on too, which may might bring on strikers with fresh legs. We'll see. Well, as you said, Dixon plays with a little bit of that chip on the shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, something that you just don't replace. Well, that's it. Well, he's, he's up and walking. That's good. Let's see Richard up and walking. Slowly, but he's, he's moving. So I suspect we might get a substitution. Uh, I, I will back up and say that it's now. I I would lean more to what you said. It's not. This is not a cramping issue, but no, it's like an injury. It's something we pulled a muscle. So it does uh, appear momentarily that his night is over. I think it is. Yeah, just on the hour mark, because you wouldn't see subs anyway, so let's see if they're going to make that substitution. Big round of applause to the crowd for Richard, of course. Very popular player. Uh, let's see who's also coming on. So we have got... I can find him on the table. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, yeah. Is it Alex Hernandez? Looks like it is. could be. I think it is, yeah. He's ready to come on. Number 30, yeah. It says Jaime's on the back of his shirt, but it's Alex Hernandez, yeah. So he's <laughs> ready to come on. So. Gonzalez plays it safely at Spielman overhead kick ah, a little bit too clever goes out for the throw yeah, maybe Gray can do something here with his speed nice takeaway there though 
Yeah, Flower City essentially might be onto something. Yeah. Pressing more than they have in the entire game so far. It's a good cross. Gets a shot in, but it's wide. Nice shot, though. Yeah, this is a far more productive offense. It is. Here in the second half. Yeah, Fernandez looking like he's going to be trouble for Chattanooga's defense if he keeps up <laughs> things like that. So, Richard Dixon is, looks like he's ready to come back on. He's had some Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. He's well, they've, the, they've been playing shorthanded without him, have, right? They have. He's had the magic spray. Maybe it's taking right. care of his muscle problem. Just waiting for the fourth official to let him back on. So, no Chattanooga substitution just yet. I was expecting one of those. McGrath again. Boy, what a motor on He's that player. Covering so much ground. Right, side to side. I know. Now back to this possession control. Well, that's it. If you go back to what you know, you kind of reset right. back in the groove, and then you find your, your comfort zone, I guess, is that's what Rod Underwood has made him comfort in possession. There's that great long ball. Oh, and offside again. Man. Flag that, is up. That and linesman yeah. is tight on those offsides. <laughs> <laughs> well, to what you said earlier, Chattanooga builds out of that triangle, right? Mm -hmm. And, yes. and they, they wait and they, they search the field. They look mm -hmm. for a place, a yep. space, and good players know how to find that space, right? They know how to fill it and they know how to pass into it. Mm -hmm. They do. And that's the basic thing so many teams do is the, the triangle practice over and over and over it's second nature. And that's what they're doing tonight. They're giving us a good exhibition of how to do it. But we're still bouncing. Okay, Flower City going to reset, I think, here. Again, there's that long ball. Tate Robertson on it. Stratton. And Simon, you get to this point in a match, and, and how does your, your risk-taking change, if at all? It goes up, I'm pretty sure, at this point, because you, you, you see the clock is ticking, and you're like, right. we, need to, we need to get on the small chart and make something happen. Gray thought maybe mo momentarily he had an opportunity. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That we for? almost had two balls into oh, play, and a yellow card for yeah, that. Tate Robertson oh, tossed the ball up against the back of that's the Fowler so, City player, and theory. that's the second one tonight. What a petty yellow card that yeah, was. You don't like that, totally huh? Necessary. No, because he wasn't. That's just gamesmanship with soccer players. That's nothing. Nobody's getting hurt. Uh, well, sometimes referees get a bit card happy. We had one of them one game a couple of years ago. Must have got a new set of cards for his birthday. And he was determined to show everybody what he got. He was like, <laughs> he was like, it was crazy. We're going to see that again. It's a bit. See if we can get a replay on that one. Now, just like we're going to have. There you go. This. What's, the, what's the big deal on that? It's so petty. Petty. Kranich wanted it right away. Kranich, I mean, and but he got it. So he got it. Go. So quit complaining. Yep. So he's coming off. Ian Saro coming off. Damian Rodriguez comes on to replace him. Kranich out as well. Okay. He must have run his race. He's been working hard. Well, he got the yellow card. And, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Or induced yeah. the yellow card, so, I should say. So Kranich went out. Okay. Yep. All right. Ben Watson here. So replaced by Watson, okay. Mm -hmm. A defender, interesting. I think Watson showed good form mm -hmm. in the DC United match. 
you will see that he's, uh, he's a quick player as well. Good first step. Mm -hmm. He's had two shots this year. Still looking for his first goal, though. David Rodriguez fighting for it. So now we're simply finding space now in the left wing. Deep into the box. And away. Good steal there from <laughs> and Stratton, a great, great steal. Well, we know things have changed. So the question yeah. becomes, is it is it strategy? Is it confidence? Is it a combination of both at this point, you think? It's uh, fresh legs. Yeah. Maybe trying to attack from a different angle. But yeah, fresh legs are the main thing. One player is a bit fresher, can make a difference and get slightly ahead to make a shot. That can be what you need. And that's Take again, down right there. Uh, that's not a foul. That's really just a bit of coming together, but... Referees giving some of these fouls, and they're really more just normal rough and tumble of soccer. It's a dangerous spot there at the top of the D for the 18 yard box. We'll see if Flower City have got something in their locker for this one. Seventy minutes played, still still nil nil, but I get the feeling there are goals in this one, Todd. I really do. What was that again? I get the feeling there are still goals in this. Oh, I think there is too. Yeah, I, th I think we're uh, I think we're a, a goal apiece at least for each team. Who's it getting tighter for? At the moment, Chattanooga are getting pushed back a little bit. Right. So we'll see how they respond to that. Flower City have found a bit of a bit of energy. <laughs> Let's see how they take this kick. And way over the top. Oh, so I feel like that's a wasted opportunity, right? A little right? bit. Yeah. 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 I think that could have made something better out of that, but. Matter of fact, Kevin Gonzalez, the goalkeeper, didn't even move. I knew right no, away. You see, it was going. Yeah. You see, that was too high when it, when it left the player's foot. So. Take yeah, it. I guess from a standpoint of my question is from a standpoint of does does the home team get a little bit more anxious and play a little bit more tighter as the clock continues to work and there's no goal on the board, knowing now that maybe one goal could be the deciding factor. Well, that's it. They may be doing that. Um, Chattanooga are not afraid to attack. Right. But uh, they just be having to sit back and take the pressure for a moment until they can find that, that space they need to get going. Referee stopping play there for the throw in. And all of a sudden, Brent Jones doesn't seem to have the, the, the run of field the way no, he, he had. Right. 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 He did have a lot more space yeah. and time. It feels like the pitch has grown shorter for him here. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it. So, Roddy Green Jr. going to come on next. Oh, uh, another striker for Chattanooga. Roddy, we're obviously going for the goal. And Roddy may be the man to get it. I've enjoyed watching him play so far this season. He's been good. And Roddy was always a standout at, at DCFC, too, when he played there before he came to us. So, let's see if he can do some more of that. Finley Stadium. Taylor Gray is definitely a marked man. They know to yes. put two on him. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. They've yes. learned that lesson. Yep. <laughs> Craig Stratton away back to Nick Spielman. Slowing it down. Resetting. I think Flower City has just gotten a little bit better in the slots here in the mm -hmm. second half. Taylor goes way out in the ring. He really should be in the box. He's, uh, he's way out in the wing. Trying to move again. See, folks, on, on Got to reorganize possession. here. They do. Yeah. Folks on possession, but it's, it's, it's okay. There's a shot down here on the side. Oh, they just missed it. Mm hmm Looked like for a moment Tate Robertson... Here comes substitution then. Oh, we have this throw in. Roddy Green coming on for Taylor Gray. Big round of applause for Roddy Green from the 
fans in the stadium. I think Gray would be a little upset tonight. Yeah. Uh, not as much action as he might like to have had and not as many shots, but... Uh, you know, defensively, they smothered him, and you, and you pointed out, sort of double-marked him from time to time. Yes, they did. They knew he was dangerous. Um, so it looks like uh, Flower City getting ready to bring on Jay Lee, who's a forward, also going for Why not? Yeah. a more aggressive approach, too. And you talk about a guy with the, that can play well with fresh legs. Yeah. Once he gets in, you, yeah, will, he's good. you will see that he possesses a, a ton of speed yeah. Yeah. and has a pretty good IQ for this game. Mm -hmm. That's a nice give and go. Chattanooga on the break. Just Ooh, stay on side, right? Good. Yeah, just to make sure somebody's in the box for a target, and that one just trickles out for a goal kick. A bit of a waste, really. But I'm keeping an eye on Jones, and the frustration seems to be growing for him. Mm -hmm. Again, he sort of had uh, he had the whole field to play with, the whole pitch to play with in the first half. Mm -hmm. So Geo coming off for uh, Flower City, and uh, so Jay Lee coming on in this place. Yeah, Strike watch this. Yeah, this, this guy's fun to watch. Yeah, he is. Uh, he can be electrifying. What do you think it is when you, you come into this game and you've been sitting as long as Lee has? Does he have an extra one or two steps on everybody at this point? Uh, yeah, I should think so, yeah. Yep. He's uh, wound up ready to play. <laughs> it's like getting out of the uh, the corner, right? And mm -hmm. You come out of that timeout chair and you, <laughs> you get to play finally. <laughs> Let me out. Yeah, get the frustration out. That's a good bit of pressure there. For Roddy Green to win the corner for Chattanooga. Now let's see if Chattanooga can make something happen from this corner. Well, I think this has been their first corner here in this second half. I think you're right. Anybody at home knows different? Let us know. All right, a Chick fil A corner kick to Chattanooga. See on the near side. Deep, loose ball, good shot. Oh, and just to the left. <laughs> oh, Rodriguez was just yeah. hanging back and got the rebound, didn't yeah, he? That's what he does. Oh, boy, smart, yeah, man. everybody else played in tight. He dropped back a little bit. That ball came right back out yeah. to him. And it was a one touch kick. Just close his foot. Let's see that again on the replay. Watch this. Comes out. There's everybody, it's right? Damien, I'm yep. All right, let's go back live. Here's the action from the corner kick. Same thing, right? Same thing. Another Chick-fil-A corner. Yeah, kick. Rodriguez just kind of hangs Same back thing. again. Rodriguez, yep, ready either for the short corner or the rebound. Yeah. He's at the top of the 18-yard box. Yeah, count the Chattanooga players out for the rebound. And Tate Robertson plays back as well. And again, the officials have to step in and... Yes, they do. Stop all the pushing and shoving. Yeah. Alex McGrath at the top of the D there, waiting for the rebound. Dave Rodriguez at the top of the 18-yard box. So, yeah, there's all well, that pushing that, and shoving and getting to know you that, kind of thing they do. There's that, a loose ball. Yeah, that is crowded living. Robertson. Oh, off, off the, post. the post. He rings it on the right Still side. There. The header. Oh, and again. McGrath. Off the post twice. <laughs> Rodriguez, can he get it in? Can't get the cross in. Wow, Chattanooga putting oh. the pressure on there. And the woodwork coming to oh. Flower City's rescue twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as they say in Barcelona, Vaja Vaja, wow, wow, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. That's more like it now. Uh, Flower City got a player down. Sierra down. 
Watch see, this. Though, let's see those corner, that corner get again. That woodwork gets a hammering. Watch this from Tate Robertson. Bang. Rodriguez trying to get something happening, but wow, great play. Man. All right, this is, uh, yeah, this is a cramp. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I've had those. 75 minutes to play for. Yep, <laughs> and I've, I've had that same medical treatment. We've all had them. <laughs> and and, yep, and you know and I know that, that cramps are defeated one, two days before a match. Not mm -hmm. That usually right. will do you in. Now, he may try to play, but... Mm -hmm. He may only be good for another five, ten minutes. Right. If that. Once it's gone, it's gone. Great low ball from McGrath. And another corner one from Chattanooga. Great play. And again, Greg Stratton playing smart, winning the corner. Oh. Well, you know he's got some fans here, right? He lives oh, sure. Out of Marietta, Georgia. Yeah, yeah he's got local lads supporting him. Another Chick-fil-A corner. Here we go. Everybody in the box. Swinging it in. Push oh. away. Flower City trying to make the break. A little so counter here. Stratton oh. cleaning up. That's a good ball. Down to Ward. Now Ward. Can he cross it? Headed away. Chattanooga fighting every touch. Rodriguez man on. Keeps it cool. There's Dixon up and about doing his thing, thank goodness. Yeah. Let's see what Damien's got. Trying to use his speed and winning a throw in. Oh, and the referee doesn't like that. Out comes the card again. Does not like that descent, does he? Another book. Another book. Our fourth one of the match here tonight. Yeah. Each team now with a pair. Yeah. A pair of things you don't want. Jose Sierra. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Sierra getting the yellow card. Just for dissent. You think they'd learn that. They'd see the one that happened earlier. They go, well, the referee doesn't like that, but they keep doing it. Chattanooga's turn to press. Keep the ball in Flower City's half. Well, and I just I think you have those opportunities, and it builds momentum, and it builds confidence. And yep. Chris Grayling talking to Marcus Nagelstadt. He's going to be the next substitute for Chattanooga. So again, a fresh striker. We have three fresh strikers on there now with him. Can he be the super sub that makes the difference? You know, Marcus has got it in him. McGrath plays it wide. To Green, back to McGrath. Can he keep it in? And he cannot. Well, certainly in Flower City had so much momentum when we started this second mm -hmm. half, and they now did. that... that this game certainly is a, a match of ebb and flow, and momentum is a real thing. Mm -hmm. It certainly right. is. So and Marcus we're going to see another. That comes on. Yep. Brett Jones off. Boy, another player who could be frustrated. Yeah. Right. So, so many opportunities tonight, right? They have. And then uh, Flower City going to make substitution too. They're going to bring on Carey, who plays for the Bahamas national team and has played LA Force and in a couple of World Cup qualifiers. How about that for experience? That's a lot of experience, <laughs> isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Some people never get a shot at that. Well, that's it, and he has. So let's see what he does. If he brings something to the game when, uh, when Carey comes on. Let's see who he replaces. Time is definitely, that clock is running down. And Everybody on the field can see it. Yeah, and the coaches are making these substitutions, trying to stay fresh, mm -hmm. right? Who's he bringing off then? So well, he's got it. Yeah, it's, the cramps have finally caught up. We'd mentioned this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. So he's uh, 
I thought I thought maybe Sierra would be good for maybe five, maybe ten right. minutes, and it turns right. out it's a little less than five. Yeah. Now here we go. Rodriguez. Can he do his magic? No, he's trying to deflect it out. Off Carey, and that's going to be uh, another Chattanooga corner kick on the far side. Chattanooga certainly winning the corner kick score, not the goal score. Yeah, they went from having almost nothing mm -hmm. to start this second half to all of a sudden now these corner kicks are starting to pile up. Another, another Chick-fil-A corner. Yep. Let's see if they've got something different here going on. Let's see if Flower City has figured this out, right? <laughs> they've, they've been threatened here <laughs> the yeah, last couple so of far. times. How do you defend now? Everybody trying to get a mark. Going this deep. one's got a chance. Going long. Yes, no. Yes. Did it cross the line? Ward. Oh, Ward just misses. Let's uh, say it didn't cross the line. Uh, Man, that was close. I mean, that ball bounced backwards, and now, and now it's a, a counterattack. Counter Fernandez. City. What do we got? Fernandez has it. Oh, no. Uh, it's a goal. Wow. What a counterattack. Go oh. from the captain. Then we said he would be dangerous tonight, You're and he right. was on the breakout. Unbelievable. Just shows how far off this game can turn. Lucas Fernandez. Wow, Lucas Fernandez. The left footed the, uh, striker just got out in front of everybody. In the 85th minute. Boy, so patient. And, and this is what you and I were commenting on 15 minutes ago, it seemed like. The longer this game dragged out, this match dragged out. Right. Same would happen. Right. Let's see that again, that replay, because that was a pretty amazing break. That's a good turn. The shot, and then just right across the key. Right not happy of Chattanooga losing a goal like that. Now they're going to defend. Chattanooga are going to really turn the screws. All right. So the question becomes: Is if you're Flower City, do you just sit on that? They're right. Sit on that. Okay. No mistakes they're defensively. Sit on that for five minutes, be strong. And just put everybody back in the 18-yard box. Chattanooga, of course, going to go for it like gangbusters. <laughs> and of course. Class that you to waste a bit of time. Yeah, too. Ortega, no need to go down no on that rush. ball there. None at all. Just trying to buy, Doing you know, yep. four or five seconds can be a difference maker, right? Doing a Jordan Pickford on that one. <laughs> 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 For those who know what that is. <laughs> Deep enough kick here that Chattanooga's going to have to build from way out of their own third. Yep. But a couple of players down and maybe an opportunity here. Space. Spillman to McGrath. McGrath goes wide to Rodriguez. Got the overlap. Not taking it. Now he's going to take it. <laughs> a, lot of a lot of urgency in this play now, isn't there? There is. Chattanooga should have capitalized on those chances in the first half and maybe we're going to be made to pay for it. All right, well, talk to me about risk here. I mean, what, what do you do now? How do you how do you take risk offensively? Well, you take everything forward. Right. So you and, press your uh, forwards a little those, bit. Push those tired legs. Yep. And uh, don't let things like this happen because you've got to spend energy running back. So try and keep control of the ball and keep it in their half the field. But the more time and energy you spend running back to defend, there's less energy for scoring a goal. Obvious, really, but... <laughs> Chattanooga fans urging the, the club on. Chattanooga cannot waste much time here. The clock is going down. I don't know how much stoppage time there was. Probably three or four minutes with uh, Richard Dixon being down. But 
can't rely on that. Yeah, Dixon and Sierra both being down. Sierra on the other side. Yep, yep. a couple uh, of minutes to add on for that for I, sure. I would agree with that. We'll see what we get though. Shine over to McGrath. Gets the shot in, keeper can't hold it. Who's there? Nobody's there to finish it off. Man. Well, you can count on at least one hand the number of times that has happened tonight. A ricochet yeah. that ends up, fortunately yep. for Flower City, not on the, the boot. The one thing as a striker, when I played, you got to know that if a keeper can't hold the ball or he's not confident with it, you should always hover around him waiting for that ball to be dropped. You can just tap it in. And I've seen that with... Uh, Ortega tonight, he's a, he's a good keeper, but he's this time he's dropped the ball. Now Chattanooga threading the needle, getting the shot in, that's very optimistic, and in the <laughs> VIP section probably feel the, knocked over a couple of glasses of champagne. <laughs> he that sure one. did, didn't he? Hey-ho. He ruined somebody's <laughs> well, 250 up there tonight. <laughs> it's not my champagne, so that's all right. <laughs> that gives uh, Flower City time to waste a bit more time as the clock ticks down towards the end of regulation. Not sure how much time we're going to have for extra time. The fourth fish is about to put it up. Let's see what he puts on the board. What bingo number we get tonight. Clearly a very difficult task in front of Chattanooga now. Yeah. Barracona to, pressing the matter here. Lots of work and not be stupid and yeah. use what's left of the energy to get back in this game. To focus and to not, not you know, give the ball away cheaply. Okay, 90 minutes is up. Wait and see how much extra time we'll give you that. Looks like four minutes of extra time, folks. So uh, a few more chances for Chattanooga. Ball's in the box. Cleared by Farrah City. Can Chattanooga get that equaliser? And will the clock defeat them? And Rodriguez working hard at that one. Wins a corner on the far side. That's good. Can Chattanooga make something happen from the corner kick? It's another Chick-fil-A corner. They put it in the box, it's loose, a shot, but nothing. Well, you just feel like that may have been, at some point, this is the last opportunity, right? Yeah, maybe, we've got a couple of minutes to go. Colin Stripling just had a moment and couldn't get uh -huh. a solid contact ah, on, on the ball. Tied legs, ball out for a Flower City throw on the far side, and tied legs doing their, their damage on that. Well, everybody in the building now, they, they started their stopwatch on their phones, right? Mm -hmm. Or something. Yeah, they, they knew. They're all keeping track now. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a hold sure there. Pulling there. Thank you. Referee caught that one. That's a yellow. Third book of the night. Yeah. On Flower City. Yeah. Carey getting the yellow card there. I'll say this, though. You almost feel like it's the HHM yellow card. You feel like that was probably a good card to grab, mm -hmm. right? What's oh, yeah. what's the alternative? Right? You, That's all part of the game. Right. Yeah, you, you get take, beat, you take, give up a goal, maybe. Take one for the team. So, yep. Now, what Chattanooga have you got in their box for a – in their box of tricks for a free mm. kick? We've got McGrath and Robinson over this one. They can get a goal here, the place will light up. <laughs> Deceptive and a great header, but over the top of the bar, colliding with the keeper. Nice dummy on that free kick, but uh, no 
Ortega goes down like he's been shot. Yeah, Ortega. So he's going to take a bit of time for that. But, uh, good move from Chattanooga there. They've obviously practiced that one before. Couldn't make it happen. See if the referee tells him to hurry up, stop wasting time. He's telling him to hurry up. Pointing at his watch. Carey with a big long kick. Now the city just clearing it wherever they can do. <laughs> Maybe one last chance here to organize. Maybe the four minutes is up. Let's yeah. see what what's on the referee's clock. I can't tell. Let's see. Here comes Rodriguez. Can't get it to happen. Flower City get a chance to clear away again. They could break. But we're just going to waste a bit of time here. Yep. Throw the flower seat, they're just going to wind uh, the clock down. Football has a way of turning into keep away, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It does, especially in this football game. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, the referee's blown the whistle. Defeat for Chattanooga at home. I don't think we expected to see that tonight, Todd. That no. Was no, 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 no. A bit of a surprise, right. Chattanooga did not take advantage of those chances in the first half. And I mean, the national buzz. Are. The national buzz, the national mm -hmm. prediction was Chattanooga would oh, yeah. more than likely win this one mm -hmm. by a couple of goals, yep. not just one or two. And that's, um, that's what I was getting from the players I spoke to before the game. They were pretty confident. Yeah. But there it is. So defeat at home, just the one goal from Fernandez wow. in the 85th minute, but that's all it takes sometimes. Now you've lost to the two teams that are yeah. leading the East and the West, and now you've right. lost, unfortunately, lost to a team that the is... Team is below you. Yeah. That will put Chattanooga probably below them. Right, absolutely. <laughs> That's not a good place to be. No, it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a good observation, Flowers though. Flowers <laughs> are taking their, their first win of the season away on the road here. Mm. They'll be pleased to head home to Rochester with that one, but... Uh, not so good for Chattanooga. So interesting game, folks. Thank you for staying with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed the coverage uh, from myself and Simon Neal and Targangi. And thank you for, for watching. Uh, we'll uh, probably show you a couple of the highlights, then we'll uh, wrap it up tonight. But thank you for watching. Don't forget, next home game is at the end of May. So on the road with Chattanooga FC. And uh, next up, Maryland Bobcats away on May the 7th. And then we're away to these guys at Flower City on May the 21st. So, uh, home game May 28th. Bay City's FC here at Finley Stadium at the end of May, so plenty of time to get organised, get your tickets, make your plans to be here. Then you haven't got to listen to me and Todd rambling on, and you can hear the game and enjoy the atmosphere in the stadium, which is always electric. Win or lose, it's always great. So, uh, we'll leave you with some of the highlights. Thanks for watching. I'm going to sign off for now to Simon Neal and Todd Angie saying, thanks for watching Chattanooga FC. Have a great weekend, folks and see you at the next home game. Good night.